All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another video leading into the second half of The Walking Dead Season 8. In this one, we're going to be doing our usual death predictions. We're going to be giving our thoughts on which characters we think are going to survive and which characters we think are going to die before the end of Season 8. And possible spoiler warning if you are not cut up for The Walking Dead, which is up to the mid-season finale for The Walking Dead Season 8. So going to the second half, couldn't wait to do this video as it's one of my favorite types of uh, videos to do, which is to give our thoughts which characters we think are going to be killed off in the next half for The Walking Dead. So The Walking Dead Season 8, I mean, we've just had a pretty big reveal, so uh, let's start with an easy one. <laughs> no brainer, zombie brainer. Uh, Carl's going to die. <laughs> Yeah, Carl's probably gonna die. Yeah, um, you know this is still one, but actually this one's even debated, right? You know, even some people think that oh, Trav, he was bitten by a whisper or something like this, and it's not, it's not a zombie bite, or or Trav, he was actually shot in just that spot during the Walking Dead season two. So could he have scar tissue, and would that mean that maybe it doesn't affect him, or is he immune, or yada 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 yada, whatever crazy ideas? The show's been on eight years. We can pretty much say at this point because they're finished uh, doing season eight. Now we just get to watch it, or at least filming it and everything. So. So, uh, you know, after all this time, I really highly doubt they would go against their sort of, um, you know, status quo, which is if a character is bitten by a zombie, then yeah, they're going to die. So, so yeah, no brainer, very easy one to say. Uh, episode nine, most likely, will be Chandler Riggs' last episode as Carl. Huge character death in the series. I mean, probably the biggest they've ever done. We're right up there with Glenn and Lori and some of those, Andrea, some of those really A-list, uh, you know, uh, season one survivor deaths. So this one is absolutely huge. And as a result, I'm not thinking that after they kill Carl off, they're going to kill that many survivors off later on this season. Because, I mean, you have to have some casualties as a part of the war because the war is wrapping up. But can you really kill off that many more characters when you've already killed Carl off? It kind of feels like, you know, Carl's dead, so uh, do you really need to add that many other character deaths in before the end of the season? Maybe maybe a few to make it feel like a war and everything on a couple on each side. But uh, as far as like our, you know, season one survivors and our old school survivors, it feels kind of unnecessary after after Carl just being killed off in the mid-season finale. I mean, why would you really want to? Why would you need to? Carl is a huge character, and that's a huge death by itself. But following after that one, one that is uh, next in uh, in line, I want to say, of all of our survivors or characters in the show, is Morgan. We know that Lenny James' character Morgan is going to be crossing over between The Walking Dead original series and Fear the Walking Dead into Fear the Walking Dead Season 4. But, you know, this is one that, you know, I personally, when I did my predictions for this season, uh, for which characters I thought were going to die last summer uh, after Season 7 had ended, you know, Morgan was one of the top ones. You know, Morgan is a character in the comic book series, Morgan was already dead. So he has survived longer than the comic book series version of the character. Uh, he's a lot better, I want to say, than the comic book series version of Morgan of the character. And, uh, you know, there's a few things here and there, like in the trailer and also in, you know, the episodes. Uh, one of the lines he says this season is, I don't die. And he has kind of a near-death experience there in uh, in the battle of, uh, of All Out War in the first half. So you see him kind of seemingly almost get killed, but then he wakes up and, you know, the whole I don't die thing. So uh, are they kind of, uh, is it a psych out? Is it like, well, he said he's not going to die, so he's definitely going to die. Uh, it's still one that I think is the most interesting to debate for this half. You know, will they kill Morgan off and have his time in fear be somewhat of a flashback, um, you know, sequence where uh, the fears time group is it, or the fears at a certain timeline and then Morgan has a flashback uh, a couple episodes where he met the fear group and then his end comes in all that war. Most people I've heard about this opinion have said no. They think that Morgan will survive this half. They think that Morgan will survive out this season and they think that he will switch from The Walking Dead to fear after the season ends. After the war is over he'll decide that maybe he was happier on his own and he'll leave the uh, the Walking Dead group to go his uh, his own way. So uh, we'll have to see if that's what they do with him. That's what most people are thinking right now. So even though this is one that a lot of people thought we might be seeing the end for Morgan this season, right now, especially after the Carl death and the news of the crossover, it really is starting to look like uh, Morgan will survive. But I still, I still wouldn't be shocked if they did kill him off and then his time in fear was that of a, a flashback type of uh, capacity. So we'll see with that one and definitely guys, uh, leave your comments below because for me it's the most questionable one right here. Is Morgan going to survive out The Walking Dead Season 8 in order to uh, pass over into fear or would he be killed and then the fear part be some kind of uh, you know flashback uh, uh, part of his life 
uh, with his life having ended during All at War in Season 8. So at least for right now, I'm saying no for Morgan. I think he'll cross over into Fear uh, Alive and not a flashback uh, type of situation. Uh, going to our other Season 1 survivors. I mean, after you just kill Karloff, I really don't think it makes sense to kill off almost anybody else as far as your you know first couple season characters go. So that goes for Rick, that goes for Michonne, it goes for Daryl, and it goes for Carol. Just no for all of them. I mean, you've already killed Carl. Carl's dying this season. That's a huge season one death. You don't need to do another one. Maybe in season nine, you could do one more if you wanted to, or 10. But to be honest, those season one survivors, uh, like we're referring to here, uh, you know, I tend to think that uh, if they are going to be killed off, it would only be like one every few seasons at this point. So they've done Carl now. That would probably put it around season 10 until they do another one of these big deaths, 10 or 11, something like that. Um, you know, it would probably be a while, I would think. Uh, going from there, we've got uh, City, who's a new character who has kind of been brought in by Carl, and then Carl being killed off. So, of course, for him, I'd say, you know, no. I mean, he's, he, to me, I would think he's definitely going to be, uh, you know, a survivor in the series for quite a while. Uh, Carl's dead, but Carl helped him kind of join the group and become a part of this. So, you know, for him, just getting here, I think he'll survive a long time. I don't think we'll have, like, maybe a Holly situation or something where they bring him in and then kill him off right afterwards. No, I think City will be here for a while and uh, we'll get to know him and he'll become a more important character uh, later on and people will remember him as kind of like that character who came in um, you know as a part of uh, of Carl leaving right so yeah uh, we've got uh, Aaron and Enid so both of them I would say no you know Aaron just lost uh, Eric so you know that's happened Enid is just gonna lose uh, Carl here even though she doesn't even know about that yet but both of them I think would be safe you know this uh, this half season I think they're fine I don't think they'd kill off either one the ocean side might be upset set at Enid or what have you, but uh, she's a kid. I don't think that they're going to uh, kill her off or anything like that at this time. We've got Maggie and uh, Jesus at the uh, hilltop. So uh, I don't think I, either of them definitely doesn't make sense. Maggie especially not because she's becoming like a, you know, a, a long time series uh, survivor here with uh, becoming more of like a, an A-lister, you know, uh, similarly right up there with Rick and some of the, uh, the others in the show being a very important character, especially for the future. And uh, so she's fine. Jesus is also relatively new. So he should be fine. We've got uh, Cal and Eduardo. Uh, probably both of them, or at least one of them, I would think. So they're kind of the uh, the guards for the uh, the hilltop and kind of the uh, the spotters, that kind of thing. Um, so there's going to be obviously the war. There's going to be some casualties. A lot of them will probably be survivor red shirts and uh, you know black shirts from the saviors. But you know we have to throw in a few character deaths here and there of characters that are kind of named. And those are a couple from the uh, the hilltop that I would expect to see. We've got uh, Ezekiel and Jerry. I'm going to go no for both of them because they just had a lot of people from their community uh, die. And I wouldn't want to see either of them be killed off. Jerry's way too much fun. He's a fan favorite already. And uh, Ezekiel, now we're still seeing his struggle go through here. And it wouldn't make sense at all to kill him off this season at this point, I don't think. Uh, we've got Gregory. So Gregory's one that I could see them killing off this half season. Maybe just get over, get rid of him. <laughs> you know, But uh, that's something you could use for a story arc maybe next year or something. And uh, he is kind of funny, you know, in kind of a, uh, you know, a villain type of, of role. So he's kind of a funny villain. You hate him, but at the same time, sometimes he says things that make you laugh or just, uh, you know, pokes fun at Maggie or tries to make her angry or what have you. So that's kind of annoyingly funny, right? So that's kind of fun. But I think he'll be okay for another season. For him, I would go like season nine probably will be the end for Gregory. Maybe Maybe season 10 if he gets that far. Uh, Rosita, I just say no right now. You know, again, you know, there's not, it really feels like there are not that many survivors left right now if you compare it to the last couple years they've really i mean they've had a lot of character deaths in the walking dead obviously you know there's not too many long-term survivors but i think right now um rosita is one that i think will survive on for many more seasons and should be uh, fine tara is a good question so tara is one that uh, i'm really not sure what they're going to do with with her she was kind of the a tether to the uh, the ocean side right so she was important for that um you know that role but we're seeing Aaron and enid go to the ocean side now so is it possible they could kill uh, tara off the season she could be one of the big deaths uh, involved as well too uh and then you have uh, enid be kind of uh, one of the ones to go or Aaron go to the ocean side in the future to kind of uh, you know work that out there um, you know a lot of people have been calling for Tara to be killed off for quite a while for this one I'm gonna say I still don't think so because I think they might do something with her and Cindy uh, from the ocean side so we'll have to see what that you know what that will amount to um, but I'm just gonna say I don't think Tara will be killed off just yet uh, this uh, this half uh, we have some other characters like Tobin and um, 
Scott as well too, which uh, is of course the husband to uh, Sasha's actress Sonequa Martin Green. So I would think he would be killed off pretty soon. You know, I would think because you know, of course, his wife has gone from the show and everything now. Uh, so you know, not sure if he'd really want to continue on that much longer and everything. So uh, we'll have to see with that one. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised certainly if they killed him off and they killed off Tobin. Just you got to have some casualties as far as a lot of these you know C listers go and things like this. Uh, you know, like earlier this season, Francine and characters like that. Like you see them once and then you know those are good characters that can be used for a war because you know the war is raging you have deaths throughout and uh you know those characters they don't mean all that much to the viewer so you kill them off as you go through so i put uh, scott and tobin sort of in that uh, that category and let's go through some of the saviors. So the saviors, you know, a great group of villains in the show, uh, led, of course, by Negan. So Negan is a big one this season. A lot of people wondering whether or not they're going to kill Negan off later on this year. Uh, I don't think so. You know, a lot of people think in the TV series that uh, it makes sense to kill Negan off right away. He's bad for ratings, this kind of thing. Uh, I think Negan will be fine. You know, I think Negan will be fine. JDM does a great job as Sam. And whether or not you like him or, or hate him, um, you know, I mean, I can't really see them killing Negan off at this point. I just, there's no way. I mean, sometimes they swerve, but um, in this case, you know, no, I think Negan is going to be just fine. Uh, we have Dwight. So there's another one that's really, uh, you know, a big question. A lot of people think they should kill Dwight off. Um, you know, it seems to me like there's, they might be setting something up between him and uh, Laura. Um, it looks like he might return to the sanctuary, return and act like he's still a member of the uh, the Saviors and everything and still be an inside man. So we'll have to see how that works out this uh, this season. Uh, personally, I'd like to see them kill him off if, uh, you know, if they want to do that. Uh, I don't think they will, uh, but I've kind of been hoping they would kind of replace Dwight with uh, Daryl for a while. But it kind of seems like they're kind of heart set in the TV series on keeping both, even though they're quite similar. Um, you know, the motorcycles, crossbow vest, everything like that. So so quite a bit similar. Uh, and they've used that in some pretty good scenes, like the one in Season 7 where Rosita sees the shadow and it ends up being uh, Dwight and not Daryl. So uh, I'll, I'll lean towards no in this one. I think Dwight will survive this season. But personally, I hope I'm wrong with that. I hope that they actually do kill him off and kind of swerve in that way because I think it'd just be kind of, you know, be kind of cool. But, of course, there's Laura too, right? So for, for Dwight, you have Laura. You know, we're going to have to see what happens with that. Uh, you know, he's going to have to. If he's going to go back, and be a member of the Saviors again, he's going to have to tell her, you got to keep this on the DL because they will kill him. Negan will bash his brains in or maybe uh, iron his other other half of his face and then bash his brains in, you know, or something like this. I mean, she's got to keep it on the DL and I think she will. And we may be starting to see a relationship between her and Dwight start to form here, uh, which is something that, you know, they could use later on in the future. So we'll have to see, but who knows? I mean, they could just as well kill both of them and then that'd be it for that uh, type of potential storyline. But I just see them kind of starting something with those two. We have uh, Regina, who's kind of funny. I'm just to say yes for that one because she's she's not really in the prior uh, you know season or anything. So <laughs> you know this is kind of like a pretty badass uh, villain. So I think she's got to go. Uh, for sake of the story, I think you do have to kill her off uh, in this back half, so I think she will. Uh, Eugene. Eugene is a really good question. A lot of people think Eugene will be killed off at the end of this season and think that he will be um, you know, one of the uh, the saviors to be killed off in the TV series. Uh, I'm still going to go with no for this one. I think Eugene will survive, but I think that they will punish him in some way if the survivors are to win. Somehow he's either got to stay with the saviors or... Or, uh, you know, he'll be given something to do. I think he will be punished uh, for the things that he did. Uh, then again, you know, the war is not over yet. And he may still help out our survivors a little bit more in this back half like he did with Gabriel and Dr. Carson there in the midseason uh, finale. Um, so uh, we'll have to see uh, what happens with Eugene. But I think I think Eugene's got a good shot to survive. I think he will survive out this season. Let's see. We've got uh, Simon. So Simon is one that I really felt like they probably were going to kill off as a part of All at War. He is really funny. Um, but, uh, you know, depending on what happens after the war, you know, is there going to be a place for him there or does that kind of uh, conflict with some other things? Uh, you know, it'd be cool to see uh, Stephen Oak's character stick around for a while because he is really funny. But uh, I think he might be kind of like a season or a couple season type character where he is actually killed off. But he's been kind of lenient on Maggie and on the others. So uh, personally, you know, I like that. Uh, you know, it's good stuff because he could have just tried to kill them all or something because uh, it is war, right? So it's what it is. But, uh, you know, with Simon, 
Damon, I'll go with. I think they will kill him off. Uh, they got to kill somebody off, and uh, he's one that uh, you know I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this was his last season. So we'll see. Uh, then we have Gavin as well too. You know, he's another one. Uh, personally, I think Gavin should probably uh, survive onward because he hasn't. Personally, he hasn't really done that much himself. I mean, you know, he's kind of in the middle of this whole thing. You can kind of uh, you know feel for him because he's a part of the Saviors. He's under this umbrella. He doesn't seem to me to be someone like Rick who would have the courage to really fight back. But at the same time, he doesn't really want to um, hurt anybody, it seems to me. You know, he doesn't really want to. So, you know, we'll see what they do with Gavin. I, I could see them killing him off this season near the end because you don't really need him. But I think that uh, maybe just to bolster the Savior's numbers and have a few more prominent members that are still alive, maybe keep him alive for future uh, storylines. There's a Rot as well, too, who's in there. You know, I could see them killing her off this season as well, too, because she's kind of one of those uh, maybe like C-lister type characters as part of the Saviors. She's in there. And, you know, again, those are ones that you can definitely kill off as the firefights are going back and forth and things are happening. I could certainly see that. Then we have uh, Gabriel, who, as I've said before, I think he will survive. I think he'll uh, heal from this and he'll be okay. And Dr. Carson, who I think will be just fine and get out of there and be kind of a uh, long-running series doctor. Maggie's going to need Dr. Carson for the baby and everything, so I would think that he'll be there for, for that. As far as prominent members of other communities go, I mean, there's so many characters right now in the series, as you guys uh, know, so we won't go through absolutely every, you know, B, C, D-lister character from every community, um, you know, but, you know, Oceanside, we have Cindy, who's, you know, is basically a no because she's hardly in the series and they do need her to be there as well as uh, the other girls. I mean, they might kill some of the girls, you know, in some of the battles here as the Oceanside joins. And I do think that they will join Rick and the survivors to fight back against them. And, uh, you know, one of them or a couple of them might recognize Simon if they are to win. And, uh, you know, the theory is that Simon might be the one who was responsible uh, with Negan's comment about him possibly backsliding, may be responsible for killing uh, all of those men. So we'll have to see if that theory ends up being true and if the Oceanside does want to get to revenge on Negan and ends up killing uh, Simon as a result. Uh, if he was the one who actually pulled the trigger and was the one that actually did that and killed, uh, you know, all of their men. So we'll see if that, uh, you know, is true. Um, if it is, then yeah, this would be the last uh, season four for Simon. And, uh, you know, I would just expect to see from the ocean side some, you know, random kind of character uh, deaths, a few of them being killed off as part of the fighting and part of the uh, the battle. Uh, we also have the junks, uh, junkyard with uh, Jadis. Um, and there's a few others there too, like Byron and characters like this. Um, you know, I mean, for most of them, you know, like it's a good question. Is Jadis going to be killed off this year? I actually don't think she will. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think Jadis will actually survive out this season and we will have to put up with her broken English in the future, uh, you know, even even more. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure a lot of people would not like that if Jadis does survive out the war, but I think that she, uh, I think she probably will, uh, will be a character in the future. And I do think they probably will help out the uh, the survivors in this one and uh, you know of course uh, overall predictions that the survivors will be triumphant by the end of this uh, this year uh, there's other characters Heath and characters like this you know uh, Sherry we won't go into absolutely everybody but uh, you guys can write your comments below which characters do you think are going to be killed off in this back half uh, or going into season nine if you want to do season nine as well and uh, if you want to hear any of my thoughts and any of the others you know leave a comment below ask Trevor what do you think about this character or that character uh, for any of the ones that you know I didn't mention here just because there's, there's just so many it's hard to kind of mention everybody so let's not be perfectionistic like that just leave a comment and I'll respond to you guys and we'll, we'll talk it through who we think will be killed off and why uh, write your theories below write your comments below remember predictions not spoilers and uh, you know that will wrap up uh, All Out War the last stand All Out War ending uh, it's going to be very exciting to see how this whole thing goes down that's how I see it going down and those are the characters that I think will be killed off in the end not that many because they just killed Carl off so I don't think you need to kill that many more maybe a few but you know is what it is um so yeah leave the comments below let me know what you guys think and if you like this video leave a comment thumb it up share it if you got a facebook you can share through for me with the share tool at the bottom if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet subscribe if you want to turn on the notifications click the bell at the bottom i would really appreciate it you'll get uh, emails and notifications when i uh, publish new videos for you guys and that's it for my death predictions for this half guys is what it is let me know what you think who's going to be killed off who's going to survive uh you know uh write down uh, who you think it's going to be below and uh, explain your case explain why that's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another Walking Dead video. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. See you guys later. Just subscribe somehow.